And that's real talk. <laughs> Good Real Talk TV, it's your girl Briz, and we are back at it again on the channel. If it's your first time stopping to the channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy financial content that may be valuable to you. And without further ado, you already know, let's just get into this video. Alright you guys, now in today's video, we're going to go over what is the best day to pay your credit card bill to increase your credit score. So it's very important that you stick to the end of this video so that way you don't miss any important information in regards to being able to optimize the credit card or credit cards that you personally have. So some of y'all may notice, whereas some of y'all may don't, and it's okay, that's why I'm here. You have three important dates that you have to look and pay attention to. The first one is the statement opening date. The second one is the statement closing date. And the third one is the statement due date. So from the opening to the closing date, that consists of your billing cycle statement and your closing date to your due date is the grace period. But the whole overall of this video is when is the best day to pay your credit card. And that will be the statement closing date. Now the reason being is so that your credit cards can show a low utilization reporting. And most importantly, you're boosting your credit score the right way. Not to mention to you guys, you want to also keep in mind that your payments can also affect your credit score in two different ways. So you have five components that consist of a credit score, but we're only focusing on the two components when in regards to uh, dealing with credit cards. The first one is payment history, which consists of 35% of your credit score. And the second one is credit utilization, which consists of 30% of your credit score. So in total, that's 65% of your credit score being affected by your payments so when paying your credit cards or credit card uh it's very important that you want to make sure that you optimizing them credit cards the right way now that we understand which what we're looking at when we're making our credit card payments let's look at a credit card account statement so that way we can kind of get a visual understanding of what we'll be dealing with so as we previously stated at the beginning of this video we are only taking into consideration three important dates, which are number one, the statement opening date. The second one is the statement closing date. And the third is the due date. In the upper right hand side of the account statement, you have the statement dates, both opening and closing dates, which is April 1st and the closing date is April 30th. This will also be a 30 day period from opening date to closing date. And the last date you'll need to be looking for is the due date, which is May 24. So when paying your credit card, you need to be making sure uh, you're making two payments. One payment before the closing date and the second payment before the due date. So the first payment needs to be paid two days before April 30th, uh, which needs to be paid down to like 95%. And the second payment needs to be two days after April 30th, which needs to be the remaining payment, which should be left over as 5%. So this is letting the credit bureaus know that you know exactly how to manage your credit cards or credit card. And most importantly, you are not reporting a high utilization rate, which goes back to what I was previously saying with the two components that consist of your credit score payment history and credit utilization. So once again, you want to make sure you optimizing them credit cards or credit cards, like I said, the right way. So that way you can increase that credit score. And if anyone needs more help with understanding how to optimize your credit card or credit cards uh, the right way, I don't mind helping. Just drop your questions down below in the comment section. And most importantly, if you found value in this video today, do me a favor and hit that like button. It really helps our YouTube algorithm and new subscribers to find our channel. And most importantly, I really appreciate y'all for tuning in tonight. And until next time, y'all, y'all already know, I'm going to see y'all later. Y'all already know, I always appreciate y'all for tuning in on the channel. But hey, check this video out too, and I'll see you in the next video.